What's going on? Rich Lee here and today I've got a new series for you in the form of m and -E Road to 100 Goals. Now if you're wondering what the rules of this series are, they're going to be fairly self-explanatory and that is that m and -E has to reach 100 goals as quickly as humanly possible. So I've picked up Inform m and -E costs 59,500 coins, a lot of coins. And for his previous clubs, he's only scored 16 goals in 19 games. So that's not that great. Not that great for a player that costs that kind of money. But anyway, he's a bit of a FIFA legend, so I thought I'd pick him up. Played with him a bit last year on FIFA 14 World Cup. Fuck. And he was pretty decent. I think he averaged about a hat-trick a game for me. Obviously, he's not as overpowered this year because Heading's been taken out of the game, but he's still got that amazing pace, decent finishing. And I wanted to start a series, build it around him, and see what this FIFA legend can do for me. Okay, so if you take a look at the team that I've got around him, then I've got the likes of Bruma, Moses, Fernandez, Musa, John Obi Macau, got Alisiu at left back, got Kyle Walker at right back, so two very speedy fullbacks there. And I've got Jose Font and Anua in central defence with De Gea in goal. I've been really happy with his card this year. I also had his inform card before, and that was pretty ridiculous, but his standard card seems equally insane. And he just pulls off some absolutely amazing stops. The players that I'm not too impressed with in this team are probably Font, Macau, and Moses. But they're there for chemistry reasons anyway. So if you've got any suggestions as to other players that you think might fit the team a bit better, then just let me know in the comments section below and that would be absolutely awesome. But basically, I want to play m and out front on his own. Lone striker, so he's basically the main man for goals and we can reach 100 goals as quickly as possible. Okay, so let's get into the gameplay then. Let's take a look at some of the best and worst of m and in the first five games that I played with him. Right, so for my first game with m and then, I came up against a pretty decent FIFA player. I don't know if he knew how to play Ultimate Team, though, because look at all the players being played out of position. But he did have the likes of Al-Shirawi, Immobile, and Perlo. So he had a fairly decent team. Cesar in goal as well. Uh, De Shiglio at right back, so pretty decent players. See... Emanike gets off to an absolutely appalling start there though. The ball just kind of bounces off his shoulder and goes out. But he makes up for it here, just kind of taking everyone on, speeding around him. Just leaving everyone for dead and then powering the ball into the corner. Decent goal there to score his first goal of the series. And then you can see him trying to get on the act again. Goes through, goes forward. Is he going to score? Is he going to score? No, I'll take it too far, too close to the keeper and I end up messing it up. But he gets another chance, gets another chance, takes on the defence, smashes past him and... He rolls it wide. So we end up winning that game 1-0. Not a bad result, but the guy had a pretty shocking team. Probably should have won better than I did. Into the second game, though, and we come up against a decent Premier League team. The likes of Alan Altovich, Bonnie, Joel Campbell, Huddleston, Henderson, Schneiderlin, Shaw, Jones. Uh, I think he had Tim Crawl in goal there as well. Decent team. It's not the best of Premier League teams, though, but it's, it's an all right team. Got a couple of chances with an AK, but... Nothing else really happened in that game, and it ended up 0-0. Very boring game of football. And then into the third game, then we came up against a very decent, speedy French team. Biabiani, Remy, Nasri, Valbuena, some decent players there. And I thought I was in trouble in this one. I thought I was definitely in trouble. And sure enough, they definitely caused me some issues. Emenike there getting a header away. Gets saved, though. Gets another chance here. Onto it. Can he score? Can he score? No, I snatched at that one. Gets another chance though, takes on the defence. Get past him, gets past him, has another shot. Saved by the keeper, Moses comes for it. Nah, saved. And we end up losing 2-1. And then the next team we came up against, we had a very, very poor team. The, the best player was Aaron Ramsey on loan. The rest of the team was fairly poor. And I thought I was going to absolutely walk this game. As you can see, Emenike gets through there. But the game was lagging horribly and that definitely caused me some issues. You'll see the game lagging there. I try and take the ball into the box. It lags again. I start mashing shoot. And I don't score. Anyway, though, because of the lag, I was getting probably more chances than I should have done just because things like that kept happening. Didn't score that one, though. The lag wasn't helping me at all. It was completely hampering me. Um, and you can see MNEK gets a decent cross in there, but it lags. And there's no way I'm getting my head on that. Is there? No. And then another chance. It's through to MNEK again. He's going for on goal. One on one. Lagging away, lagging away. Is he going to finish this? Is he going to finish it? No, it lags and we end up putting it wide. Poor. But again, the ball comes through to him. Is he going to round the keeper? No, I tried to shoot it. Stupidly. Could have rounded the keeper. Didn't. And lagging again as I take on the defence. Take it round him. Turn him through on goal. And can I score this? Yes, I do finally get a goal. Finally get a goal of Emanike in this game. We were down to 10 men at this point. 
but he put us back to 1-1, and then he plays a nice ball through there to Bruma, who tucks it away nicely, and we end up winning that game. Or do we? No, we don't win that game, actually. We drew it 2-2, but Emanike does have a decent chance there, and he puts it wide. Oh, yeah, like I said before, we actually drew that game 2-2. And then in the fifth game of this episode, I come up against a decent Bundesliga team who likes the Kagawa, Lewandowski, Muller, Hummels, Alaba, Piszczek. Very, very good Bundesliga team. Obviously, I don't have the likes of Ribery or Robin or Royce or anyone like that, but some very decent players nonetheless. And I thought they were definitely going to cause me some issues. But MNEK just cruises through it, cruises through, tucks it nicely into the corner. And I felt like I was finally getting used to MNEK in this game. I had a few poor showings. He probably should have scored a lot more than he had done at this point, but he had two goals in four games anyway. And, yeah, it wasn't the best, but it could have been worse. Emenike threw on goal again here, threw on goal. Get a bit lucky there. The keeper came out to it, but didn't even touch it. Tucked it away into the corner again, and that put us up to four goals in five games, which isn't amazing, but it's all right. It could have been worse, considering that we only scored two in the first four, so it did improve the goal tally nicely even though it's still not the best. So we end up winning that game 2-1. And there you can see the confirmation that in five games, he's got four goals and one assist. For the money that I paid out for him, you'd expect more really. But yeah, like I say, it's taken me a bit of time to learn the player, get used to him, get used to how he plays. And hopefully from here on in, I'll start smashing in more goals. Because like I said before, in the World Cup game last year, when the Ultimate Team Edition came out, I was smashing in the goals with Emanike. I think I was averaging about three goals per game with him. So I'm hoping that my goal scoring record is going to get better as the series goes on. And I'll start smashing in those goals and improving that record. Because four goals in five games, frankly, isn't good enough. But thanks for watching anyway. And I'll catch you next time in Emanike's Road to 100 Goals.